Hi third graders. Today you're gonna get back your single prints. You're gonna get back other prints. Um, and we're gonna be mounting everything. So craftsmanship is really important today because we wanna make sure that everything we glue down has an even amount of space and it is straight. So you're gonna start with the white paper and you're gonna lay out your, your squares before you glue them down so that they make a radial design. Once you do that, then I would kind of move everything off a little bit and start with that first shape you're gonna want whenever you're gluing to make a nice frame. And then we do a crisscross. Now, if you get this one straight, make sure that that center is right. You wanna have like a pinkies width apart, the bottom and the top. So I always like to get that corner in there and then press down the bottom so there's a straight line. This looks like a straight line. And then we can press down. Then I could start doing the other ones. If anything is sticking up, just get a little bit of glue underneath. We don't wanna have anything sticking up. Then I'm going to do my other ones. And again, when I'm laying it out, they can touch, but I want to have a straight line here and a straight line here. So it's not going to take that long, but I do want you to take your time. And then I can kind of move it around to make it a little bit easier to glue everything else down. Once everything is glued down, if there's anything popping up, you will just have to be patient, put some glue and press down. Now you're gonna be ready for the black paper. This is a little bit bigger. You are going to take a pencil and on the back, write your name and art code. It's okay if it just shows up a little bit. We will be getting name tags to put on this, but for now, we're just going to write it in pencil on the back. We're not gonna write our name on the front. I'm gonna turn this over. I'm not putting glue on the black paper because then I won't know where it needs to go. I'm always gonna put the glue on the paper that get, is getting glued down. I do my frame, I do my X, then I turn it over and I wanna make sure that when I'm gluing it down, I have an even amount of space going all the way around the frame. Then I take my fingers, and if they got a little dirty from before, you can clean them in the sink because we want to get a nice, clean frame. And if you touch this, it might get some black on your fingertips. So I'm just rubbing my fingers all along the edges, and if anything is sticking up, just put more glue down. Once you have this all done, then you will be able to get um, another paper that we're going to glue it on top. Now for now, we are gonna have all different colored papers that you're gonna be able to glue on, but before we get those big papers, I want you to then mount your next print. So I have this print that I'm going to do my glue frame. Turn it over, make sure that I have an even amount of space going all the way around. The one with the paint might need a little extra glue because the paper is a little, might curl up a little bit. Once you have this, then this is where you go to the part of the room that has the colored paper. So you choose the color that goes best with your print and then we're gonna glue it on that for the last time. So now this last part, I'm going to, again, put the glue on back of this paper, make a frame, and then it's going to get glued on the colored paper that I think goes the best with it. Now this colored paper is not a perfect square, so you actually wanna turn it so it's a little bit longer at the bottom. I could help you with that. You're gonna line it up, so that it's even space on the top and the sides, but a little extra space at the bottom. And you run your hands down, and then we're going to write our names on the back so that if I don't have the labels ready, then 
I can label it after. If I do have the labels ready, you're going to be putting the label at the bottom of the paper. So now I'm just gonna do the second one. Once you're done, if I have my labels ready, again, you're gonna put the labels at the bottom. Um, but to be safe, you're gonna label the back. Now for this print, originally I chose a paper that was the same color, but then when I put it on the back, it blended in too much. So you do want it to pop. So I decided to change the color in the back. This one I thought pulled some of these colors. So try to choose a paper that you think goes best with your prints. Then if they are sticky, we will put them in the dry rack. 